What happens when someone who has the mind of a science fiction author with a lot of imagination plays through the virtual reality games most one and most book two and finishes them 100%. So I saw everything that those two games have to offer, including their great story, which was especially uh, shining in the second one. So when someone like, like me goes through all that, what do you think that happens? Well, you're gonna see what happens in this video. I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to predict what's gonna happen in the third uh, most game. If there's ever any third most game, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna see some or a lot of what I'm gonna mention here in this video. I really hope that I don't guess everything because I mean, imagine that, like, uh, <laughs> um, you know, if I predict what they're gonna do in the third game in like two or three years from now, something that no one knows yet except the other author, the other creator, the director who has this in mind, you know, for the first two most games and if there's going to be more than that for the others as well. That person already knows the whole thing, obviously. So how would you feel if someone, you know, like me, me in this case, some author that you don't know about comes here on video on YouTube and tells you everything that you're going to do in the third game, as if they were reading your mind, you'll be like, what? What is going on here? Who's this guy? Um, I don't know if that's what's gonna happen or not, but you know, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of things right with my predictions in this video. So for me, this is a prediction, but for you, the viewers, you can look at this also as if this is what I will do for the story in a Moss Book 3. So if I was the one in charge of that, if I had to do a story for that, then this prediction I'm gonna say here is what I will do. Um, so these things that I'm gonna tell you about what I think is gonna happen in most book three, you know, my prediction, they are not just based on, on what I thought about. I think that a lot of it is because the way they did the, the stories in, in most one and most two, it's pretty obvious that whoever did those stories knew them from the first game. So they, they knew what they were, were going to do in the second one from the first. And I think even more, they know what they're gonna do. If they do a third, they know that from the moment they did the second one. Because there's a lot of foreshadowing, like statues and details and things of characters from the past and all that in these games that kind of tell you that whoever is behind the story is someone that already knows what they're gonna do in the next one. So since they know that, they can uh, make uh, you know, a story or a setting or details in, in the previous ones, in, in the first one and the second one, that they'll fit with what's gonna happen later in the third. The only way to do that is if you already know the entire saga of Moss. One, two, three, even four, if there are gonna be four of them, uh, from the beginning, from when you began doing the first one. And I think that's the case for, for whoever's behind that story. That's the way I like to do mine, too. Like, I, when I begin, I already know the whole thing. You know, I don't know the little details. Like, when I get to a dialogue, I do it in, in that moment. But what is gonna happen in the greater scheme of things, like the skeleton for the whole story, I know that from the beginning. Whoever did Moss, you know, Moss 1, Moss Book 2, whatever comes later, I'm pretty sure that is someone like that too. Someone that already knew the whole thing uh, as, as the first two games were done. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you like, like a few uh, photos that I picked from my two playthroughs of the two games and two little like 20 second videos from moments in the games that are gonna show you sort of like proof that I'm not just guessing randomly, that I really thought about this based on what they gave me there, based on what they showed, kind of like what they foreshadowed. So big, massive spoilers for anything most related. You should have beaten the second one at least before you continue with this video, because I'm going to you know begin now telling you what I think. So number one, 
you know, before I show you, I'm gonna leave the proof for the end, the proof with the photos and the videos from the games for the last part. Based on what those showed me on my two playthroughs, I'm pretty sure that most book three is going to be like not just a continuation but also a prelude. It's kind of like a circle, you know, like like they began at the beginning, they continue with most two, but what happens in most three is gonna tie to things that happened before the the events in, in most one. So it's going to be kind of like a prelude. The continuation at the same time, you know, it's a sequel, but at the same time it's also a, a prelude, a prequel. So it's kind of like a circle, the story. Um, why is that? Because the, the starting, I don't know if that's the right name for the, the character, but you know, the, the one with the, with the wings uh, and the two phony eagle legs and, and the two horns, you know, basically the, the fantasy character, because that character is the most fantasy-like character in the whole story. Um, I think that's going to be the creator of Moss. Because at the end of Moss 2, they show this starting with the five stones that, you know, according to them, the five stones are how all things begin in Moss and how all things and conflicts end. So whoever has the five stones can sort of like create that, uh, create, reshape, or change that word, that, um, you know, that story. And who has the five stones at the end of most two? The starting. And where is the, the starting at the end of most two? In the library. Completely empty library. But what is the library in the most games? The library in the most games is the setting where they tell you the story in between chapters. So it is a setting where everything is happening, where the whole story is being written, where it was done before. And at the end of most two, this starting character, supposedly mysterious, but I'm not so sure about that part anymore. You know, I, it's gonna be much more to this character than what people think. Um, is the only one in this empty library, which to me is not a coincidence. It's an empty library that looks like the library where you have always been reading the two books for the two uh, stories, the two games from the beginning. So, but you have been at this library and it is not empty. It already has most book one done, most book two. Look, it has everything done, the story. So who did that? I think it's the starting. What made me think that, well, I'm gonna show you, that's why I need to show you later the, the, the proof from the two games. So you see that I'm not just making things up to, to make up a story for, for a third game or, or for a most book three, but I'm actually getting this from things I saw in the games. So this is not uh, just hypothesis and guesses. I'm actually using what they show you. So the, the ghost, you know, the ghost face characters, you play as one of them, by the way. You play as one of them. That's that's who the you know the VR player, the human player is. One of these ghost characters that helps the the little hero mouse, who's Quill. Everyone thinks that Quill is the and well, in, in a way, you know, you can say that Quill is the protagonist, right, of the first game and the second game. But I think that the true protagonist is going to end up being the character that is the blue ghost uh, guy that you play as. I think that character is going to be the, you see that at the end of most two, there's this queen of this other race that comes and saves the day basically with her army. She saves Quill and the others. This race, this other race, before everything happened at the beginning of most book one had a hero that saved all them and that apparently died in a three. I think that hero is going to be the protagonist of the whole saga. That hero is who the blue ghost that you play as is. Uh, I'm gonna show you proof of, of all of this from the games. You know, it's not just me making up theories here. So, which is, you know, there, there are a lot of things that, that connect there, like the, it's all like connector in a circle. The 
So I think the, the starting is the creator of the you know world most, the stories and all that, using the five stones. And the starting can go in there and change things, but cannot predict what uh, his or her, I, I don't know the gender of the starting, it's, I don't know, sometimes it's, it's a girl, it's a guy, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's uh, the, the starting can make changes that only an author of the word of the story will be able to make. Um, however, it doesn't seem to be able to predict what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you that later too, there. So, so maybe there was a character in Moss that changed what it was planning. And the character most likely was the, the one that you play as. The other one that must have changed things is, is the bad one, the the red ghost, that that was kind of like a the final boss in most two basically the you know final antagonist that they re revealed there at the end like out of a hat because everyone thought that it was going to be the owl but it's not going to be the owl. By the way, in most three, if most three is continuation and prelude. It needs to explain, and that's what I will do, by the way. I think you need to do that if you want to make Moss 3 better than the second and to make it a spectacular, wonderful trilogy. You need to explain who are the ghost characters, who is the, the yellow one who seems to be the creator of the whole thing. I think it's the starting, by the way. The blue one, I think, is the, the, the hero of the other race who died in a tree, and that tree... This is not a coincidence, by the way. It's where you begin the game, the first game, with Quill and where the ghost, the blue ghost, finds Quill. And she also gets from that three, what a coincidence, from the three where the, the hero of the other race died. The emerald, you know, the stone out of the five stones, which is the one that gives her the connection with the ghost. So I think that the blue ghost is, is the hero of the other race. They haven't told you that yet in the first or the second game, but I think it's gonna come in the third one. That at least that's what I will do. So now we have, if you follow my theories and, and the way I will, I'm predicting or the way I will make this most book three, we already know the, the identities of two of the ghost, uh, you know, these ghost guys that are kind of like, you know, they my gods, something like that. Mini gods, I don't know. So the main one, top creator, the one that made the library and the most books and all that, it's going to be the starting. And that is the uh, yellow one of the ghost face guys. The blue one, the one that you play as, so the true protagonist of the whole series of the saga, is going to be the hero of the other race. Who, in my opinion, is going to be the main character of most three. So most three, uh, the way I see it, is going to be like the prelude which happens to be a continuation. There are several things in most two that, in my opinion, show that uh, one of those statues of heroes from the past is Quill, the one that you were playing as in, in the first game. But how can the one that you're playing with now be one of the statues of one of the past heroes? Well, obviously that's what's gonna happen in the third game. So it's gonna be like, like a circle. Let me let me see if I have anything else to tell you, so I can begin showing you the proof and, and then you know finish the video. What else will I do in that story? Uh, obviously, new characters. Ideally, a new villain as well. And and the villain is the, the main villain should be the the red ghost, obviously, the one from the end of Moss Two. But in Moss Three, they need to tell you. Who is this guy? Who is that character? So if we tell you who is the yellow one, the creator, the starting, who in my opinion is not gonna be uh, a villain or a bad character, but it is going to be a very important character in the third one. It should be. I mean, if you're the creator <laughs> of the whole world and you're a character in a, in a game about the world and you can change things there, it's gonna be a very important character. It's gonna be like one of these Dudes that all of a sudden comes with a plot twist and no one saw that coming. But it's gonna be important. I think the starting is going to be at the end. The starting is, is kind of like 
began like like a mischievous character, like a character that you thought was gonna be a villain, but at the end the story is gonna end up being probably the opposite. It's, it's going to be like, like like a friend, like uh, probably even the creator of the whole thing. So it's gonna be very important. The so who's gonna be the the red ghost uh, guy? You know, the real villain of the story. In fact, probably I will make it a new character in in the continuation monstery that is also a prelude I will show you a new character, one of the other mouses and just give give people the story of uh, of the ghost and of the villain in the third game so I will do the third game by giving people the story of the library and how it connects to, to the to the most word and story I will also give people the story of the hero of the other race. So that means that in most three, you will not be playing as Quill. Makes complete sense because the the final theme of most two was letting go. So you're letting go of that character. You might see her again, but you're not gonna play as her again. So you you know Quill is gonna be there, but it's not gonna be the one that you help anymore or the one that you play as so let me see anything else I'll show you the proof and if you know I remember anything that I haven't mentioned yet as I'm showing the proof then I will tell you okay so this Do you put this? Okay, time to see the the proof for my most three prediction or story. So, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna see the proof for my predictions now. Okay, so we're gonna get this. Let's see if it is. This is from the beginning of the second one, Moss Book 2. We remember you, dear reader, even if you do not remember us. Okay, so the narrator just said, We remember you, dear reader, even if you don't remember us. As if the reader, who is basically the, the blue ghost, was a character from before. A character from before so we remember you even if you don't remember us anymore so th this guy was um, you know involved involved with the most story before which is there's more to it but you're gonna see why I think that the blue ghost is the hero of the other race I forgot their name you know the race from the queen that saves quill at the end of most two I think that's the guy who's gonna be the blue ghost. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, the blue ghost. So I think the blue ghost is gonna be the protagonist of the whole story, which makes perfect sense because that's who you play as. So obviously the VR player should be the you know like the main protagonist, and Quill is gonna be the second one. Um, okay, so this guy. Where do you see him first and where do you see Quill first? So let's look at my reference photos from when I played this. Okay, so... Yeah, it's basically here. Like the, the toilet garden, this place with the three, is the same place as the beginning of the first game and what who do you find at the beginning of the first game the blue ghost who's going to be you the, the one that you play as and quill and they also find the you know the emerald the the green stone there okay so we're gonna go oh there we are i, I even had it here in video so this is you know the I'm not going to show you the video, that. it's going to take more time from the video. 
about yeah this is the beginning of most one basically where quill meets the ghost and it's not a coincidence in my opinion that she meets the you know the ghost who's basically the one that beer, the beer player plays as in the same location here where the hero of the other race died so what I think is gonna happen in this story is that the hero of the other game didn't die he just became the, the blue ghost okay and now we're gonna we're gonna see something very very interesting ha. so this is from the same company that made most book one and most book two they made another multiplayer game which is not um, linked to you know it is and it isn't it is not a continuation of Moss but they use characters of the Moss series as uh, you know characters in their battle arena of their supposedly unrelated game but if you look at the unrelated game it's all the important characters of Moss this this one from here is Sahima that one from there is the the magician you know the old guy from Moss 2 um, this one is the hero from the other race however if you look at this picture this photo this is from the company making the most games who is the most important character here who is the one that is that stands out in this photo this guy I think it's pretty obvious this guy who's the protagonist of this story if you only had to look at this photo this guy I think this, this guy is gonna be the, the one that that's gonna be used for most three basically which is what you had to let go of Quill in the second one because you're not gonna play as Quill again you're gonna play as this guy next from the same um, this is from the company that made the two most games so, so look at what they're doing basically they, they're doing uh, art that already tells you something that might happen in the, in the third most game obviously in the third most game we're gonna have to do with this one with the red um, enemy and you know we might have more characters here especially in the mouses there are gonna be more mouse characters as you can see from all that there okay so now now I'm gonna show you why the starting is the creator <laughs> the, the the god of moss um, okay let's begin here the starting changes is the only character that changes everything in the first game you know the starting the so nothing happens in most one unless that event there that you saw happens unless will was teleported to the other side and who did the teleportation the starting so the starting is, is literally changing everything so in the beginning of most two also we thought the starting was dead it's not let me see Okay, little pause here. The starting has horns, it has wings. The yellow ghost character, who's the creator of Moss, also has horns and wings. Let's go on. Then you should have this. You can thank me later. Or maybe before. Okay, so you can thank him, thank him later, or maybe before. So basically, he knows what's gonna happen. See, he knows what's gonna happen next, and he knows what happened before. And the later... Okay, let, let's see if I can catch this. The later is also the before. What does that tell you? So the, the continuation, or part three, is what happened before, the prelude. So 
that's what what it says you can thank me later or maybe before by the way nothing will have happened in the second game without the sword which is the thing that they use to open the you know one of the emeralds they get it from there i think so nothing will have happened is the starting didn't give the sword okay so let's continue seeing it why this starting is so if this starting is not the creator of most the yellow ghost guy at the very least it read the stories you know it read the books it's, it's a character that knows everything pretty much okay so what else it was this is from my video from the you know that's me right there uh to pedro crystal and most book two final boss battle plus ending I, I published that there. Okay, so this is the right place. I wanted it to be you. I did. Okay, so I wanted it to be you. I did. The starting says to Quill. So the starting talks as if it could, and, and apparently it can, change the story, but it doesn't have full control over you know, what happens as consequences of the changes and all that. Okay, and now we're gonna see the final proof. I think it's a really good proof. So we're gonna go to, this is me right here, psnprofiles.com, my profile there. Uh, most to this, creator trophy. Okay, so creator, if you look it up, in, in a dictionary, it's basically the, the person that takes care of the uh, collection of books at a library. It could be the author of the books too, by the way. So they name curator and they give this photo to the curator trophy. They name the, the yellow goals the curator. And they even put it in, in, in one of the trophies from the game. One of the most important trophies, by the way. The one you get after you collect all the missing pages. So I think this is the last proof that obviously this character is going to be super important in, in most book three, if there's ever one. So this character, in my opinion, is going to be the starting. And if it is not the starting, who created everything in the library at the very least it picked the starting to to do everything it did in in book one and in book two at the very least all right and that's it <laughs> that's it for my predictions for for the the story in uh in the most saga so i think uh obviously i left a lot out you know, if, if I had to be the person coming up with the story, I would come up with a lot more than, than this to make a, a most book three that is better than the second one. Um, you know, you will need a lot more, more characters, more background stories, more revelations, but it can all be done. So, and this is a beginning, you know, this is just a way to get started. And, uh, I would love to see how much I got right, but I guess we're going to have to wait like two or three years for that when, if they release a third one, I'm pretty sure that they will release a Moss Book 3 because everything that the company is doing, Polyarc, shows that they are very interested in, in the, you know, in the most project, in the most games and all that. They clearly are going to continue that. In my opinion, perhaps even with more than one game. So there's going to be like most three, which is going to be kind of like a prelude. And I think there's going to be even more than that. They might even do two games for Quill, two, and then two games for the other protagonist. So it's not going to be Quill. So, it, you know, it, it might be something like that. We'll see. So far. Yeah, this is for now. <laughs> this is for my prediction of most three. So I just noticed that I didn't cover, you know, the part about the photos from the two games to show you the proof, you know, I found in, in the games for all these predictions that I came up with, all these ideas, which are not random. 
So here we're looking at a picture from a, a MOS tool and let's make it larger. In this picture, I think that the statue that they're showing you there is Quill. So you're playing, you know, a MOS tool as Quill here. But the statue of the uh, hero from the past, the mouse hero from the past, that you see during the, these games, the first one and the second one, I'm pretty sure that it's her. So if you make it larger, you can see very clear there that this one looks like her. So the one number two looks like her. The one in number one, we're gonna look at that now. Let me see. Okay, here it is, this one. The one in number one doesn't look that much like her, but we can see, and by the way, it makes sense that it, it shouldn't look like her because then it would be too obvious for all the players that the statue is, you know, the same mouse that you have in your team. And that shouldn't be obvious for the players. That should be something hiding. So, but they already knew, I'm pretty sure that the authors of this, the director of this saga, of the games, already knew who this, this character was going to be. They already knew that it was going to be the one that you're playing as. Um, not really the one that you're playing as, because you're playing as the Blue Ghost, who, in, a, in my opinion, the Blue Ghost is going to be the true protagonist of the whole saga. And Quill is going to be like the second protagonist, pretty much. And um, they will use, you know, the the how do they call it? The sprite version of the Blue Ghost. I think they will use it if they make a third game. There, they're gonna use it. But so far, we were not seeing that. We were just, uh, you know, believing that this sprite hero of the other race died i think that what really happened you know like i already mentioned in the other part of this video before is that uh when that guy died he became the blue ghost that you play as and that you used during the whole first two games to help quill the the mouse hero who happened to be the same one in the statues that you see during the first two games so you're seeing statues of the hero that you're playing as right now what does that tell me that you are playing in a story that goes in a circle. So you're playing in the past, and what is gonna happen later is what happened before the first most game, basically. So let's let's continue with the with the photos. So this one doesn't look too much like her because it is the first game, but the fact that it already appears in the first game tells me that they already knew that this was gonna play a role, this character. Here in the second one, they already make it a lot more like her, and and it looks pretty obvious here. That that looks like Will pretty much. So you might ask, what do they use wings? Because at the end of of most two, she doesn't fly, you know, with real wings, but she ends up flying down, like a very long distance in the air. So she, that. You know, if you make a statue showing that, how will you make that statue? You will put wings on her. But everything else is, you know, the, the armor is similar, the sword is similar. Okay, let's see what else do we have here in these photos. I think this mouse here with large ears, it could also be Quill. Yeah, you know, look at her here. So she has large ears here. That looks like the ears here on this one, on this statue. But maybe it's not her. Maybe this one is going to be the the king, the, the king from the castle. So I think that what's going to happen is that, you know, it's, we're going back to the reconstruction, basically, to the circular story. So what happens at the end of most two? The castle is destroyed and the village is destroyed. So what are they going to do after that? They're going to reconstruct it. When they reconstruct the castle and the whole thing, uh, they're gonna put the statue of Quill there. And what is gonna be that statue? Well, the statue of Quill after the reconstruction is going to be uh, this one. So I think that after they rebuild, after what happened in most two, they will end up rebuilding this place, which is what you see 
you know already destroyed basically in most one so you know the the gap between most two and most one what happens there which is all connected is what i will use for a most three basically okay so let's look at something else okay we already saw the statues that look like her so this this is important material so this photo from the book Okay, obviously here we see several mouses here, like three mouses and two others. This is a, the Queen of the Sprites. Um, but this is the important part here. Let me put it a little bit larger. Okay, so these guys, all these six guys, you see them in the glasses, you know, in the glass windows that you have to fill up in most book two. This cat, it's gonna be the third boss from the arcane. The first one was a snake, the second one was the owl, the owl, and a cat is going to be the third one, which makes sense because these are like the natural enemies of the mouse. You know, and the owl, a bird basically, a snake, and this one is, is the cat. So that's gonna be in most three, the cat. However, if we have the cat in most three, what does that look like to me? It looks like, like that event that already happened there. So I think that what's gonna happen is that most three is gonna be what? This, this uh, story of these guys. Uh, I'm not sure about that yet, but I think that it's possible that if this one is not Quill, then this one could be like, like a son or something like that of Quill, or it could be the one that becomes king. They mention at the very beginning of most book one. So at the very beginning of most book one in that story, how do they begin it? They begin it talking about the sprite hero and how they escape the, the snake and all that. And they mention that there is like, like a king for the mouses. And the king for the mouses has a one of these uh, stones with, you know, by now we already know what that means. He has co the connection with one of these uh, uh, ghost characters. In my opinion, that king is going to be, if it's not Quill, it probably won't be, I think it's going to be a new character, it's probably going to be a character that is related to her, like a song, something like that. Uh, that one is going to be the one, in my opinion, not just the one that's going to rebuild the castle again and all that, but also the one that is going to be connected to the uh, ghost character that is the the starting the yellow one basically the main one that creates the whole thing um what else so this is very important because this six characters right there and this boss character here i think they're gonna be very important in the third one if there's ever a third one and obviously we're gonna find out about who these guys the you know the ghost folks from the library dimension, from the other dimension, are who are they? I think they're gonna end up being characters from the world of Moss, like these mouses here. I think the blue one is gonna end up being the sprite hero, the one that you play as basically. The yellow one is going to be the starting, because you know, the yellow one, I, I don't think it's very clear here, but uh, you see, okay, there we go. So the yellow one has horns, like the starting. They don't show it here, but he also has um, wings. Let, let me see if I can show you that. In. in one of the other photos, I think it shows it. Okay, I think it's the, yeah, the other one. This one. So this guy. The, the creator from the library, the creator of the Book of Moss, basically. You look at this here, those are horns, these are wings. So far in the story, who's the only character that has horns and wings is the starting. Also, who's the only character, and this is very important, that ended up with all five stones at a library? The starting. And that looks like this guy here, you know. Like he has the, the five stones at the library, so he can create the whole thing. 
he or she, you know, whatever the starting is. Okay, so what else here? These glasses, these glasses here, are the six guys, the six, uh, you know, heroes from the page in the book. However, the last one looks like Quill. Let, let me look at another picture here and see if it, here. Okay, let's put it. What do I think that the last one is Quill? Well, if you look well at this, what is she holding in the left? A hammer. This is the hammer, basically. What is she holding in the other one? The sword. And what is that thing there? Like, like the main, uh, you know, kind of like the element, the main thing for that character. Well, that is what happens at the end of most book too. Like the, a gel, you know, kind of like a singularity sort of thing, like like in space, like the like the black hole kind of thing, but like with that color, with yellowish, uh, orangeish thing opens in the sky. So that is the event that happens to her at the end of most two, which is the most important event for what for her character. And I think they put wings on her because she had to kind of like fly at the end. Like she doesn't really have wings. She didn't grow wings or anything, but she has to kind of like free fall, like, like in a parachute basically at the end, but without wings and without a parachute, she still survives the fall. So that's why they always put her in the statue with the wings or in the glass with the wings because she survived from, you know, literally flying down. Okay, so let, let's see what else I had to tell you about this. Okay, here we have, I think this guy, and they already have an animated form for him in the first uh, most game. This guy here, the hero of the sprites, I think it's gonna be the most important character in the whole saga at the end of the day. Because if this guy ends up being who the blue ghost is, so then that means that he's in, in most one and in most two. And he's the one that helps her to do everything. So, you know, the, the real hero is this guy, basically. But if they use him in the most three, like a prelude sort of thing, then the one who's the true protagonist of the whole series, the most important character, in fact, is, is basically this guy here. And she... You know, this scene will make perfect sense in the first game because she will be the second most important character. By the way, when, when I was expecting this part, I thought that he was going to be the boss. I thought I was gonna fight this guy when I reached this part. So when I realized that he wasn't and he was just helping her all the time, that's another thing that adds to, to thinking that it could be, you know, the Blue Ghost, basically. Let me see what else. You know, it, it makes perfect sense. Like if this guy in the beginning, they start everything. Here it is, here it is. So this is supposed to be the beginning. They start everything there. And who looks like, like the main character here in this uh, photo? Is it the monster who's flying? Looks like could be Quill, right? Or, or the king of the mouses, or whatever. No, this guy is the one that looks like the true protagonist here. And so this guy is extremely important at the beginning. If he, if this sprite hero guy is, um, and he most likely is, because this, you know, this is the part where you made the blue ghost for the first time as, you know, as Quill. And uh, that's supposedly the, the place where, supposedly the place where this sprite hero died. So he could be the ghost, the blue ghost, maybe. Um, that's another statue. Not sure if this statue uh, could be Quill or not. Not necessarily, this look. She also has the big ears, but this could be someone else, another character. Maybe the king. Oh, I, I remember. There was one more thing that I haven't shown you yet. Okay, so... 
I think it is in the in the second one in the photos from from the second one, right? Okay, there it is. Okay, this is gonna be a scene in in most book three. I'm completely sure about that. I think that's pretty important there. This, you know, is in the central room with all the glasses. What is happening in that scene? There's like like a mouse that died there. I think this is just you know the way I would do it, an assumption. I think that could be Quill, maybe. And if it is, if it is the one who died, if it is Quill, then maybe there are two things that could happen there. She might become one of the other ghosts, one of this. Uh, Okay, let, let's go back to the, there we go. Going back to the very important page here. She could end up being one of these uh, folks here, this ghost. She could end up being, and that would be really, really well done. Really well done. The ghost who helps the sprite hero. And if the sprite hero is the blue one who helped her, that, that would be something that fits you know extremely well with what they tell you in a yeah i think i'm gonna finish here i already showed you everything right i think that fits extremely well with what they tell you in the story itself like i don't know if it was in in most book one or in the second one but there's a part that the narrator says very clearly that you know like there are two characters that are gonna change both the word of the library and the word of Moss. And the two characters are gonna be who? The blue ghost that is helping and Quill. But if they, you know, morph, like in, in most book one and two, maybe you're gonna have Quill and, and the ghost helping her. And then in three and four, you could have, or at least I would do it that way. You know, if I was the one deciding the story and that kind of thing, I would do it that way. You could have in, in three and four, which could be a prelude, you could have the sprite hero as the one that you move there and the helper goes, which is not gonna be a blue one, it's gonna be another one, will be uh, a quill, maybe. If she dies, maybe something that they do, because they, they, they're doing a lot of these things in this uh, saga. It's, it is a fantasy saga. So as a fantasy saga, you should expect to see uh, this sort of, of elements that are more than science fiction, they're fantasy fiction. And one of these elements of fantasy fiction is that some characters in the most books turn in, or, or somehow they, they should explain that. If, you're, if they're gonna do that, uh, they should explain how and why. So some characters in the most books are gonna be the ones who turn into these ghost helpers. The creator one, the yellow one, I think it's going to be the starting. Because there are many things about this one that are similar, like like the two horns, the two wings. It you know, this one has the five stones and is the curator of the library according to the trophy in the trophy list in Moss Book 2. Uh, you know, if you play it on PlayStation, there's a trophy list. Uh, I think in Steam VR they probably have like like uh, accomplishments of things that you can get. One of them is curator. Curator is the the person in charge of the library. It could be the author of the books too. And who is that? The yellow ghost. But who is that at the end of of most two? The starting. You know, he or she, uh, whatever she is, <laughs> has the five stones which can be used to change or, or to create a moss, in essence. So she, she's the one uh, you know, making the story, but she doesn't have complete control over it. She can, you know, she makes the story, but it can be changed by characters from the inside too. Characters like, guess who? The Sprite Hero, most likely the first one, and Quill, the second one. Um, and that's it. That's it. I think uh, that's, you know, like general ideas that I will use. 
you know, if I really had to do a, a project of a most books read story, obviously I would dig in deeper and come up with more ideas and more characters and more everything that fits with everything that is shown in uh, in the second game, especially, but also from the first one. Um, so yeah, we have to come back to this video in two or three years and see how much I got right out of this whole thing. So I think that uh, the king of the mouses is gonna be Quill's son. So Quill will most likely uh, die, or at the very least, you're not gonna play as her anymore. Uh, in the next game, if there's any, they're gonna tell us who are the ghosts. Uh, let me see if it is, okay, it is. It is still filming. They're gonna tell us who are the ghosts. There, there, it's gonna be like a prelude kind of thing. So we're gonna see characters that we were seeing in statues from before. We're actually gonna meet those characters and see them. Um, what else? Yeah, the true protagonist I will put there is the sprite hero, and I will also put this guy as I will. I will say that the blue ghost from book one and two is the transformation of this guy, basically. And that will also explain why the narrator says that uh, that uh, the Blue Ghost doesn't remember them. He lost his memory, but they remember him. So that means that he, whoever the Blue Ghost is, was there in the story before. So he had to be one of those characters. And that means that one of the others can become one of the, you know, other ghosts, not the Red one or or the blue one but one of the others so we need yeah we need like five of those goals the blue one could be the sprite hero the yellow one could be um the starting the red one I, I will make a new character there like a new villain a new villain from the mouses and i will make that the you know the true original of the red uh goals uh Quill, if she dies in, in the third book, um, she should still be an important character in the saga, even if you don't play with her or, or help her. So I will make it one of the other goals, but I will not reveal that until the end, you know, to make things interesting. I will not reveal until the end who the yellow creator of the whole most scene is, but I think that it could be, it fits, if it was the starting. Um, what else? It could also be one of these uh, semi-complicated uh, fantasy ideas where the starting is the creator and the yellow one and the yellow one is also the one that banishes or exiles the starting or himself, herself into the books or the world of Moss because she knew that she had to be exiled there and all that had to happen for the story to run as it should. But you know, it's kind of like a, this weird thing where the same character is the creator and he also banishes uh, himself or herself or exiles himself or herself into the stories because that had to happen for him or her to end up being the creator later. So it's kind of like this uh, circular um, idea for the, for the saga, for the story. By the way, they can easily make, if they follow these ideas, which is what I would do, they can easily make more than, than three games. They can do two games for Quill, two games for the Sprite uh, Hero, and they should leave it there, you know, this shouldn't continue uh, milking the same cow for too long because they could, you know, mess it up and just begin making a story that is not truly great, which is the whole idea of making a story. Like, if you're gonna begin making a story that's crappy when you were doing something exceptional, don't do another part. Just you know, keep it there, leave it there as it is, and and just uh, deliver with something spectacular instead of delivering spectacular and then making two other parts that are not so great. Um, so that's it. That's that's what I will do for this uh, Moss saga, uh, which is not bad at all. I think. Uh, no, not to brag or anything, I seen that the one I'm writing, the real reality series, the science fiction action series, is better. However, I enjoyed this, and I, you know, genuinely enjoy 
great stories and uh, and discussing them and talking about them and and in some cases even uh, coming up with other ideas for them is something that I find very entertaining and very enjoyable. So yeah, we're gonna have to come back to this video <laughs> like uh, two years later, three years later when they release another most game and we're gonna see how much I got right. If I get a lot of things right, that would be good. That would be good because it's, you know, I think that someone with good predictive abilities for a story that is not even yours, it's obviously someone who is a good storyteller. You know, for my own stories, for, for, for the ones I'm making. But you know, when you can extend someone else's ideas and characters and feelings and stories in a magnificent way, then that means that you can do some spectacular stuff with the ones that are yours, with the ones that came, you know, from, from the ground, all of it done by you. And that's uh, what I have planned pretty much. Okay, so we're done with the, the video that I wanted to make from us. I'm gonna leave you here with Quill's statue from Moss Book 2. Statue of the Past Hero, who is the one that you're playing with now? Sayonara.